Within the past couple of years, broadband internet has become a standard in most people's homes. Today, broadband internet is available for 94% of American households. Yet there are still 100 million people who aren't subscribed to a broadband service. If you are part of that number, then maybe we can help. Here are some simple tips to keep in mind that will get you connected. Step 1. Start with the basics. Internet service doesn't come built into new computers, so you'll want to know the ins and outs of how it works. If you have a computer and if we're in your own home, you have to have something called an internet service provider bringing that connectivity into your house somehow. You have usually two main choices. One is a cable network TV company usually brings that connection in and the phone company may bring that into you. Cable usually offers faster speeds, so faster downloading speeds. Um, the internet will run a little bit faster, but cable shares it in your area, so if a lot of people have that cable internet and they're all on at the same time, it might slow down, whereas DSL really gives you your own limit, but it is a little bit slower. Step two, figure out what options you have. There are many ways to get broadband service, so you'll need to figure out which one is more accessible to you. Some of the, the options that, that seniors and the world has these days for broadband service, for getting connected to the internet, um, within San Francisco we have AT&T, which is DSL, we have Comcast, which is cable, then we also have Sonic.net, which is actually local, which is also DSL, and then you have other ones like Astound, which I believe is cable. Um, and then there's some other ones like Earthlink, things like that, which are now DSL, AOL. There's actually a third one that's now appearing and starting to become popular, which is actually like the cellular phone companies that also offers that uh, ability to connect to the internet. The cellular modem has probably the most flexibility because obviously you can move it around. Um, they sometimes called hotspots. There are companies now just making these hotspot type devices. Step three, determine your needs and budget. Not all broadband services offer the same thing. You want to familiarize yourself with some of the different options. What are your requirements? If you're not expecting to stream a lot of videos, um, all you need to do is send emails. The lower speeds are probably adequate and fine for you to do. When shopping for broadband, you gotta really think of what you're gonna be doing. Um, you know, there's DSL, there's cable. Some are better at you know downloading speeds. Some are gonna be better at surfing the web a little bit faster. You know, don't go out and spend a ton of money if you don't need that download speed because you're just going to be wasting your money if you're not using it. Another important note is to pay attention to contract lengths and or promotional deals. Your monthly price could go up at the end of a promotion. So the, the differences between cable and DSL, first of all, is the price. Right? So cable tends to be more expensive. It tends to be faster, significantly faster, actually. Um, and it's usually going to be about 50 bucks a month so a lot of people will bundle, if they already have cable, they'll bundle it all together. AT&T runs on DSL, which comes from your phone line. Right, it actually comes in, you share the line with the same line that your phone comes in. Um, and that usually starts off about $20 a month. If price is a concern, you can visit connecttocompete.org. Here, all you have to do is type in your zip code, answer three simple questions, and you will be presented with several different internet plans that fit your budget. Once you've made your purchase, the only thing left to do now is get trained. sfconnected.org is a great place to get started. Here you can find more information on broadband services and most importantly, how to get training. There are a number of centers throughout the city that provide free classes for broadband users of all ages. Having internet service in your home will provide countless benefits and opportunities. All it takes is these few easy steps and you will be connected in no time.